Finland and Namibia share a long and fruitful friendship, which originated in the early 1900s when the first Finnish Lutheran missionaries settled in northern Namibia. Finland had an active role in helping Namibia achieve its independence, and Mr. Marti Atisari, who later became president of Finland, played a key role in Namibia's current political stability. Since independence, our relationship with Finland has grown, and the country is one of our largest donors. With us in studio to talk about the relationship between our countries, as well as the numerous projects which their embassy is busy with in Namibia, is Her Excellency Anna Saloranta, Finnish Ambassador to Namibia. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to One Exclusive. We are at the Finnish Embassy, and with us in studio this evening is the Finnish Ambassador, Anna Solaranta. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, and welcome to the Finnish Embassy, and thank you for having me in the program. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, ma'am, let's get straight into it. Finland is celebrating its 100th independence, 100th anniversary of its independence. Um, tell me what's happening at the moment with that. Yes, indeed. Uh, 2017 is a very special year for us. Our Independence Day is on the 6th of December. Uh, so uh, this year we are um, hosting and organizing um, a host of events and uh, all over the world in, in all our missions abroad, in all our embassies, in all our partner countries. Of course, paving the way uh, to the big grand finale, if you may, on the 6th of December. Uh, but uh, having a keen focus on uh, on those themes and, uh, and, and those priorities that we uh, hold uh, near and dear to our heart. And those are, of course, uh, democracy, uh, human rights, rule of law, uh, good governance, and equality. Gender equality, uh, in particular, is, uh, is, a, is a key theme and cross-cutting theme uh, that we have in all our activities, both back home and, uh, and abroad. And uh, here in Namibia, uh, we have been very fortunate uh, to host uh, at least one special event every month, and we intend to do so, wow. and uh, for the whole year. And we started with um, mm. uh, with one of, of our key themes uh, for, mm. for for 2017, uh, that is uh, is culture, arts and culture. Okay. And, uh, and then uh, we've been moving on to, to innovation, uh, technology. Uh, we will be focusing on, uh, of course, uh, our private sector engagement, especially in the areas where Finland is good at, that is clean technology. And uh, that translates to um, renewable energy, uh, water, um, sanitation, forestry, uh, waste management, and, uh, and then uh, we, uh, of course, uh, are also uh, looking into um, enhancing our partnerships in, in many, many other fields uh, that we are already uh, involved in. So, so uh, quite a number of events that have already taken place and, and then those that we are going to be hosting as well. You might have noticed uh, that just uh, last week um, our Code Bus event and, uh, and tour um, came to its end uh, in Namibia. Uh, this particular initiative was something that Finland 100 um, program um, contained for Africa. Uh, the code bus uh, with its experts from our leading university for technology, Aalto University uh, in, um, in, in, in Helsinki, yeah. um, um, hosted and uh, and the, the, that bus uh, traveled uh, in in 100 or is still traveling actually is now in South Africa and from there going to Mozambique still but uh, but is traveling um, across Africa and visiting 10 African countries in 100 days wow. and they started in February with Nigeria and Ghana mm -hmm. and then uh, coming down um, uh, via uh, Uganda uh, Kenya uh, Zambia, uh, Tanzania, and uh, and then uh, reaching Namibia. And here in Namibia, uh, they hosted coding events. Uh, that is, of course, uh, computer programming and, and coding events for uh, for learners and students in Rundu, in uh, in 
uh, Marienthal or Chivarongo, Walrus Bay. And here in Windhoek, we had the key launch event, a media event, and then also a free concert. And, uh, and then our performers uh, were both Namibian and Finnish performers who gave their time uh, to join us for that particular event. So, so that was our highlight very much uh, for Namibia in terms of, uh, of technology and, and innovation. Uh, but then again, at the other events, of course, uh, I have also um, hosted uh, receptions at my residence and, and involved uh, a, 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 the community at large and, and, and surely our, our key uh, part partners and stakeholders for these events. We are still um, planning to host, if not this year, at least early next year, a, a seminar uh, on, on gender, women's role, uh, especially when it comes to grassroots level and, and NGO work. Uh, that is a continuation of um, of gender seminars uh, that uh, have taken place in Namibia in the past two years. The first was for, for women MPs, newly elected women MPs in 2015. Last year we co-hosted a, a two-day conference uh, together with UNAM, um, the Center of Human Rights and Documentation. Uh, that particular seminar looked at women's role in poverty eradication. And, uh, and, and, and then um, it was more directed towards the, the academia. And, and then uh, the next uh, gender conference will be more for, for grassroots level um, communities and, and, and organizations and, uh, and women and men too. Uh, Namibia is special to Finland. And, and of course, uh, with these programs and these events ha happening in Namibia, there are also, of course, high-level events in Finland, and and we have uh, been very privileged having the former president, His Excellency President Bahamba, um, join for uh, one particular event in Finland last month. Uh, he was invited by President Ahtisaari, yes. and they uh, spoke together at a conference discussing uh, Namibia's um, path to uh, to independence. And let's look at that. Let's look at that path. I mean, Finland was very instrumental in our struggle for independence. They've always supported, you know, our political stability. President Marti Atisari, for instance. Um, what what is that relationship like? I mean, why is it historically so good? It is very special because, again, uh, when we look at Finland's role in the world and the fact that we uh, became independent and uh, through our our long engagement and and long uh, rule uh, that we were under first uh, as a, under the um, kingdom of Sweden and then um, afterwards as a grand duchy of uh, of Russia then um, our history is is unique, and and we have had our own independent struggle, and then uh, the fact uh, that the Finnish missionaries uh, came to Namibia back in the 1870s. So this year we are not just celebrating 100 years of Finland's independence and 27 years of Namibia's independence, but we are also celebrating 147 years of our common. Uh, history and our common partnership and and friendship together. So so that is is what makes it unique. It's through the church and it's through the efforts of of course President Artisari and the the Untag uh, experience. But it's uh, but at present it's more more and more also um, with uh, with our private sector engagement and uh, and and being uh, equal partners when it comes to business and and trade. That is what makes it special. This year also. So President Ahtisari will be celebrating his 80th birthday in June, fairly soon. So there are events taking place in Finland around that. And of course, there are events taking place also around the Lutheran Church. And we are also privileged of, uh, of having a ministerial visit from Namibia taking place in Finland uh, soon. And, and we, we hope to, to have, have other high level visits still uh, uh, taking place this year, just to, to celebrate again, because again, we want to highlight yeah. our unique partnership with Namibia. Like President Ahtisaari said when he was here um, in Namibia in 2015, he said, uh, there's no other country like Namibia for Finland, and there will never be one. So, really? so I think that summarizes it.
there's also, and it's not just your government and the embassy, but there are a lot of private companies, private corporates um, from Finland that are doing a lot of good in Namibia. Now, a lot of people say the Finnish like Namibia because of the sunlight, <laughs> but there must be some incentive, there must be some good relationship between your government and the private sector in Finland to, to manage that. Um, how are you getting that right? Um, yes, indeed. Um, we have uh, always uh, had this sort of special focus on, uh, on building and enhancing capacity. And uh, knowing that when we uh, became independent, we had to find uh, our niche. Where could Finland uh, play a role as a small country, starting from, from very humble beginnings and, and relatively poor? We had to find something where we can be good at. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we focused and, uh, and, and put uh, a lot of effort on education. And, uh, and uh, at present, we are uh, the education powerhouse in the world, yeah. and, 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 and our concept is, is, is well known. So again, based on our experience and, and based on what we have to offer is, uh, is where we also see uh, the engagement when it comes to, um, to private sector. And, uh, and, and I have been very happy to note, it, I'm on my sixth year here in Namibia as, uh, as Finland's as head of mission and Finland's ambassador um, for the past uh, three years. Uh, and I've been happy to note how we have uh, really increased uh, the, uh, the partnerships uh, between uh, uh, com uh, yes, and, and companies between Namibian and, and Finnish companies. And, uh, and then each and every partnership and each and Every sale is uh, is very much um, combined with a, a, a training component, and again. So it's not just so it's really that skills transfer that's being focused on. Precisely, yes. Finnish companies uh, are not out there to make a quick profit. Yeah. They are there uh, for the for the long term and and also wanting to make a difference, having this sort of a, a, a social responsibility in mind and then also wanting to to increase and uh, and um, enhance local capacity, local production and we have very good examples uh, of that. So and then also uh, we, uh, the Finnish government is also offering funding instruments uh, to make that happen, especially for, for SMEs. Uh, our multinational companies uh, are pretty much doing business on their own already, but, mm -hmm. uh, but it's the, the SME sector that is really benefiting also from these instruments that have been made available. Fantastic. Um, and you've also got that relationship with both UNAM and the, uh, the University of Science and Technology. Um, that academics, I mean, we're constantly seeing stuff in the news. How valuable is that for our Namibian scholars? Are they getting opportunities to go to Finland as well? Oh, yes, indeed. Okay, right. Indeed. Mm -hmm. I always say that uh, with our partnership with Namibia, it, it's also the benefits are always mutual. Mm -hmm. The Finns are benefiting uh, at least as much as yeah. the Namibians, mm -hmm. I, I hope, uh, from, the, from the Finnish partnerships. Mm -hmm. Our universities mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, other um, institutions of higher education have had partnerships uh, with uh, with their Namibian counterparts uh, even before independence and uh, and uh, then of course UNAM was the, the the first partner but then with Polytech and NAST of course at, at present uh, the partnerships have have also increased quite a bit now the Finnish uh, universities are also uh, building partnerships and programs with uh, with the private universities those that have accredited programs but uh, they work uh, in many many different different fields, mm -hmm. uh, starting from, from medicine, uh, going to, uh, to science, going to education, uh, going to arts and culture. Um, I mean, there, <laughs> there's, there's, there's yeah. so much going on. So much and involvement, yes, yeah. and, and what I am also, mm -hmm. uh, I've been happy to witness, and, mm -hmm. and it actually has happened this year, is uh, that Namibia mm -hmm. is now sending uh, students uh, to study in Finland with scholarships uh, from the Namibian government. And uh, these students are, there's a group of students um, who are um, 
now um, studying uh, for, for, for basic degree in education and another group of students uh, studying for master's degree. So again, uh, the education concept of Finland is one that we are indeed uh, selling abroad and it's selling very well and uh, again our concept, what is it about? And I think it's, it's all about uh, the fact that um, in terms of, uh, of, uh, of education uh, we uh, are uh, focusing on equality. Every child has the same chance uh, and our motto is no child is left behind. Uh, so uh, our institutions are all um, publicly funded uh, with uh, taxpayers money as, as we say. We have very few private uh, institutions, private schools in Finland and even those also receive government funding. So we make it available and we make it free of charge and, uh, and to make it uh, also uh, equal for everybody is uh, that from the start uh, and, and our schools have provided and are providing uh, the learners and students alike um, free, free meals. Okay. So there's a school lunch yeah. that is uh, something given. Yeah, yes, yeah. so uh, when I was going to school I realized uh, when, uh, when I started um, um, getting contacts with um, yeah. with the students of my age in other parts of the world. And my goodness, we are unique. Other <laughs> countries do not offer school lunches and you can't free study of charge. So hungry. <laughs> Precisely. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. our concept has yes. uh, has uh, you know evolved, and and mm -hmm. there's no competition in uh, in Finland when it comes to schools, and and also with universities because we uh, don't uh, believe in rankings. Mm -hmm. Who is doing better than other? Mm -hmm. They co they cooperate rather than. Uh, than compete. So, so that is something, that's our basis and through those bases and, and, and through uh, the programs that they offer, uh, the, the partnerships um, uh, between uh, the, uh, their, the institutions here in, in Namibia uh, have grown and, and continue to grow and, and we celebrate each and every project and each and, and, uh, and, and uh, every initiative, uh, mostly with the launch, mm -hmm. so that we also um, inform the general public uh, what types of partnerships are ongoing and there'll be several launch events taking place still this year, also Keep part of Finland 100. <laughs> yes, yes, and, uh, and I'm so grateful for, for the media here in Namibia for always, <laughs> always having an interest you know in our events. <laughs>
35 million euro range if I if I don't uh, uh, if my memory serves me right. So uh, again, and with these uh, particular initiatives, uh, there has also been a very extensive program uh, for training and for maintenance and and so on. Uh, we are looking at the uh, at the sectors uh, in particular uh, with the focus on. Uh, uh, now on uh, renewable energy, uh, uh, marine resources, uh, infrastructure, low-cost housing, and uh, so Finland's like let's help us get, let's help you guys get the infrastructure right, and then we can worry a bit more about the trading. <laughs> yeah, I think you know there. Of course, there's a yes. trading component there mm -hmm. also. We have Finnish yeah. companies that that provide these services, and then uh, we have hosted a number of uh, visits, also high-level visits. Uh, from Finland to Namibia, but also from Namibia to Finland, and uh, and also exposing Namibian private sector, Namibian companies to what Finland has to offer. And I'm very happy to see the progress that these companies are indeed discussing, negotiating, trading. There's a lot in the in the pipeline at the moment, but we always want to uh, to also um, draw from our previous experience and then also. Um, find synergies between our, again, our development instruments when it comes to the Fund for Local Cooperation, the NGO fund, for instance, we have been working with the Wallis Bay Cotter Group for some time through that fund uh, with NAST, with UNAM projects, and also paving the way for, for business and, uh, and, and business contacts. So in the future, you will see a lot more in that regard also, and, and also a, a, a change in terms of the statistics uh, to see more business, not just from Finland to Namibia, but also from Namibia to Finland. There is a lot of interest. Ambassador, your term is coming to an end soon. Indeed. Um, or do you have any final words for us Namibians out there from your embassy? Yes, indeed. Uh, I have been very, very fortunate of yes. uh, serving as ambassador here in Namibia for the almost six years. It's very unusual in uh, in, in our system, yeah. and uh, yeah. four years is normally maximum. Yeah. So to have that sort of extension for additional two years has has really really been wonderful and I have enjoyed each and, and every minute and moment here in Namibia and uh, maybe some of the viewers do not know that uh, being here now for on my sixth year is not my first time in Namibia but I actually came to Namibia back in the 90s together with my husband who of course is with me also here now we came in 1994 I worked with UNICEF at the time and my husband was with the Red Cross and, uh, and I was in charge of, of health programs, uh, covering the country quite a bit uh, with uh, campaigns and, and health training and, and initiatives. So when we count our years in Namibia together, it's almost nine years of our lives that we Just have lived in Namibia. Home, yes. Namibia indeed is our second home <laughs> and it is here in the heart oh. and always stays here. But uh, what I would like to um, maybe um, highlight here is that uh, having traveled across the country having been to the remotest health clinics that one can think of, I have seen uh, remarkable um, successes and I have seen uh, devoted people and, 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 and I, have, I have really uh, seen uh, you know, th things happen and, and people with, uh, living in difficult circumstances, how they can really m have made a difference. Uh, but then I have also seen the contrary, um, I'm afraid, and, uh, and having experienced, especially with our NGO projects, because our focus is very much on the, on the, the ethnic indigenous communities, especially the San communities, there I have also witnessed um, instances where, uh, where people from other communities um, have um, tried to take advantage of the vulnerable and, and even exploit what the, what the vulnerable communities um, have uh, available, which is very, very little. And, and, you know, when looking at those experiences and going back, I often think to myself, what can I do and, and what can we all do together uh, to make their lives a little easier and to ease their burden a, a little bit uh, because uh, there's, uh, there's something that we can, we can all do to become better people in that regard mm -hmm. and uh, because in the end that is, is what counts. Instead of sitting around and waiting for people from the outside to help us with our problems, maybe help each other a little bit more. 
Yes, I think so. And be considerate. Yes, and, and also yes. think of those mm. that ha are less fortunate than, than, than we are. So I think uh, those are the sort of the, the thoughts and the questions that I would like to, um, to leave with but, and leave the, the viewers with. But, uh, but again, I am grateful for this opportunity. I'm also very grateful for having had such a, a loyal and committed team in my embassy to work with. We don't have enough hours in the day to... Uh, <laughs> Uh, to really uh, um, complete yeah. everything yeah. that we would like to do. But, uh, but then again, I'm confident uh, that my successor will continue from where I have left off. And, uh, and again, uh, this has been a wonderful experience. And, uh, and again, uh, thank you so much uh, you. For, um, for having uh, me at your show tonight and, yeah. and, and having had this opportunity to discuss. It was brilliant. Thanks thank for you. joining us. Viewers, that is unfortunately all we have for you this evening. Be sure to follow this episode on social media and you can SMS us at 555 with your comments. That's all from us tonight. Thank you. Good evening.